transaction prices in June just set an all-time record in any month. Uh, and additionally, uh, the amount that dealers are making in profit per sale of vehicle, the dealer gross, has also hit a record high in June. So both of those are very strong rebuttals of the fact that we are seeing a softening of demand uh, at this time due to economic factors. That was the Vice President of Data and Analytics at J.D. Power, Tyson Jomini. Good morning, I'm Kristen stark -Latis. Welcome to First Shift. We will hear more on what he has to say on the U.S. automotive forecast for June. But first, in case you were wondering if the increase in gas prices was making a dent in demand for new cars, no, it is not. Even with the national average recently topping $5 for the first time, there's been no shift in buying habits from larger vehicles to smaller ones. This is due to improvements in the fuel economy of most internal combustion vehicles. However, some dealers say high fuel prices are leading some shoppers to consider switching to electric vehicles. Turning to Europe, you may be able to buy gasoline and diesel cars longer than what many countries in the EU are hoping for. According to a document seen by Reuters, Italy, Portugal, Slovakia, Bulgaria, and Romania want to delay a European Union plan to effectively ban the sale of new gasoline and diesel cars by five years. The EU wants the sales ban to start in 2035. Brussels says the 2035 date is crucial because the average lifespan of new cars is 15 years. So a later ban would stop the EU from reaching net zero emissions by 2050. That's the year scientists say is a global milestone when we could see disastrous climate change if there is no ban. Some EU governments have rallied behind the 2035 target, but Germany's finance minister says they do support it. Inventory levels remain very low in the U.S. auto industry. We have been below 900,000 units on the ground for eight consecutive months. And that compares to pre-pandemic levels of three to four million units on the ground at any point. The result of this lack of inventory really means two things. One, vehicles are selling as quickly as they arrive at dealerships. In fact, almost 40% of all vehicle sales take place with a vehicle under five days of arriving at the dealership. Um, so vehicles are turning very quickly. And that also leads to high transaction prices. So while volumes are down almost 20%, the price gains that we're seeing means that the total dollars that consumers are spending in market are almost awash with where they were a year ago levels, which were of course all time record levels uh, of consumer spend. You just heard Vice President of Data and Analytics at JD Power, Tyson Jomini, talking about how low U.S. inventory is causing an all-time record in levels of consumer spending for vehicles. However, the U.S. automotive forecast for June 2022 says the total new vehicle sales, including retail and non-retail transactions, are projected to decrease 15.8 percent from June 2021. Jami says consumers are having to pay $79 more on their car notes per month than they would have had to pay a year ago. This may be one reason for the decrease in forecasted sales. As we're seeing transaction prices increase, um, we're also now seeing monthly payments starting to increase at a commensurate rate, uh, which, which will start to stress the, the U.S. consumer. Uh, who is being tasked right now with paying for higher fuel prices, higher grocery store prices, uh, as well as you know inflationary pressures in most other consumer goods. Um, so we are starting to see that, that pressure build in the auto industry. Uh, but as mentioned, uh, most of the other metrics remain very positive, uh, that demand is robust and, and has not softened so far uh, due to economic pressures. Currently, trucks slash SUVs are on pace to account for 78.9% of new vehicle retail sales in June. Staying on the topic of SUVs, General Motors has set its Blazer EV reveal date. GM says the all-new 2024 Chevy Blazer EV will be revealed on July 18th. Developed from the ground up, it says the Blazer EV offers a groundbreaking mix of style, performance, and technology. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you Wednesday morning.